Welcome to Gravity Throttle Racing. My name is Aaron Tate. And my name is Richard Gear. Aaron is going to introduce you to three of the teams. Now from Monster Motorsports, we have Rubber Toe and Piggy Talil. Both are driving a 2016 Ford Focus RS. Next up from Numskull Racing, we have Numskull 1 and Numskull 2. And again, both are driving Mercedes-Benz A-Class. And finally, from G4 Diecast Racing, we have the number four and the number 44 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Well, and race fans, here we are, episode two, about to begin with DRT 3K in lane one, EP in lane two, Manchild Motorsports in lane three, and GeForce Racing in lane four. There's the yellow lights. And there we go. Oh, a nice clean start. Everybody clean over the creek. Chavano Mountain Creek has never seen so many clean jumps with these cars as Manchild has a nice drift. And look at the fight going on in the Joker Lane with EP and DRT 3K. Manchild has the lead now, coming onto runway three, and here comes EP on the inside and DRT 3K on the outside, and there continues to be a battle around the big U. EP Videos is going to take first place, DRT 3K in second, and both Manchild vehicles come in for third and fourth. That's going to do it. Let's go back now to the instant replay package. Take a look at some gorgeous drifting. Manchild comes in, front driver and rear driver, nicely done. But it's GeForce Racing that gets caught up and having a picnic there on Mesa Butte. That's unfortunate for them, no points. Now check out the, the battle that is going on through the tunnel and everybody is clear except the rear driver of DRT3K. Boy, they take advantage there. Manchild is trying very hard to fend off but the other drivers make it past him on the runway, and oh, what did we see there? EP video? Well, actually, we saw Grogu. I think that was a giant inflatable of Grogu. Well, take a look at the scores now, because Manchild Motorsports added 11 this first round. And race fans, this is the last grouping for these fine drivers. EP video in lane one, DRT 3K in lane two, G-Force in lane three, and Manchild Motorsports is in lane four. This is the last time they'll be racing together. There's our green light. Another very good start. DRT 3K has a slight lead, but look at G-Force coming in there. Hopefully he drifts well. Both drivers, oh, over drifting the first one. And wow, what a tangle up up on the Mesa Butte we have as the camera is now focusing on EP in the lead and DRT 3K in second place down the runway. Look at EP video. He's looked very sharp today. Coming onto the scrambler and making ease of it coming through. A nice low 25 time. There's a nice little help. Both DRT 3K drivers come through and Manchild has the fourth spot. That's going to be it. None of the teams are going to complain about the way they're starting or jumping over the creek. As we see here, some great drifting, although DRT 3K got a little sideways. Watch the rear driver come in a little cockeyed, but nicely done. And remember, both of his drivers finished. That team is looking strong. Unfortunately, wow, what a mess up top. Watch the rear driver of Manchild here on the replay. And the yellow car just hit the barrier too soon. And G-Force Diecast getting stuck. Zero points for them today. They're going to have to regroup. EP Video gets a little taste of his own medicine up top there around the sharp right turn. But the lead driver comes in. DRT 3K has collected 20 points this round. Nicely done. Manchild Motorsports with a very respectable 16. And so did EP Video. Episode 2 continues with the second group of racers. Dubious Diecast in lane 1. Polo Racing Lane 2, Maker's Box in Lane 3, and Chase, Family Racing in Lane 4. They have been hot as of late. Here we go, yellow lights and green lights, off they go. Nice start by Dubious. Chase is really throwing it out there, and here comes Polo on the inside, taking the lead. Chase has a great drift, and look at Maker's Box coming in there. Oh, and what a battle going on on the Joker Lane. It's gonna be very tight as they come out. Here comes Chase, here comes Polo. Polo is not able to catch Chase. Chase is leading once again around the big U, and Polo has, has second. Chase 
Chase Family Racing in first place. Polo in second. Chase Family in third. Do we have anybody else? It almost seems like a carbon copy of the last group. All the drivers making it beautifully over the jump. Look at that nice job by all the teams. They're doing well through the snow. And let me correct myself here. These two teams did fantastic coming around the Mesa Butte Drift, holding their own and continuing momentum. But Maker's Box coming over the bridge loses both of their cars. Check out again. Watch the Joker Lane as dubious. And Polo Racing have a battle coming down through the tunnel. Dubious, the front driver, and Polo tangle it up and lose energy. Actually, the rear driver, we're told, was caught in the tunnel. Dubious was unable to finish, and so was Maker's Box. Chase Family Racing, first and third, takes 14 points, and Polo gets seven. This is the final battle for this group of racers. We've got Polo now in lane one, Dubious Diecast in lane two, Chase Family in three, Maker's Box is on the outside lane four, and lights are already yellow. There they go! It's a wonderful start for Maker's Box, but Chase pulls out in the lead once again, and Dubious is close by. Here comes Polo on the inside. Nice drifting by Chase Family Racing, although they spin and cartwheel around. Dubious has a lead on the Joker lane. Oh, it's going to be tight now as Dubious comes down, and oh, he spins out. Now it's Polo in second place. Chase Family Racing has the lead around the big U, and here he comes, down the scrambler. Here comes Polo, who's going to make it, and Chase will take first. Polo Racing in second. It is Dubious in third. Oh, and I think Polo took fourth and Chase Family in fifth. Here comes Maker's Box in sixth and Dubious takes seventh place. Well, congratulations to the team because seven of the eight drivers made it down the treacherous Chavano Mountain Raceway. Now take a look though at Maker's Box, the rear car. And we've had, we have seen that problem before coming over the bridge and just getting a little airtime. Here they come, the rest of the drivers filing in one by one and down the runway. Oh, it's too bad for Dubious, but look at Polo. He actually takes Chase out and then sneaks on by Dubious. Here comes Polo, the second driver, sneaking on through, and there is quite a scrum coming into the big U. Check this out as they come around, and there's Brogu overseeing things, but take a look at, I think that's Polo sneaking to the outside of Maker's Box around the big U. Scrum avoided by him, and Dubious, not giving up, comes by. Here we go, filing down after the final race of this group. Look at Chase Family with 26 points and Polo Racing with 19. Well, race fans, it's been a wonderful first half of racing. We've got the halftime. Welcome to the Soapbox Derby Halftime Show. And Richard, who is our first builder? Well, our, our first builder is a young man named Harry. Comes from the UK. Oh, is that Harry Styles? Uh, no. How about Harry Potter? Uh, no. Harry Armpit. Okay, that's enough, Aaron. Let's find out who the drivers are. Harvey. Oh. Billy. Hold my beer, guys! Hey boss, where did GTR get these jokers? Billy, you're the driver. Get up there. Hey Bill, do I have to do this all the time? Do I have to be the one who has to drive? Get up there, Billy. You know how you have the best grip. All right. Uh, He's got the best grip. Oof! Uh, but not the best brain. Oof! I'm okay, Mo. All right, now make room for me, okay? That's really deep in there. Hey, Mo, do we get helmets? Uh -huh. No. Oh, this looks dangerous. Ah, oh, don't worry, Richard. Elizabeth, the paramedic, is right there to help. Wow, you'd think after one violent try, they would give it up. Oh, wow, he looks dead. Nope, he's just fine. Yeah, don't they realize the cheetah tail is causing the problems? Oh, no. Watch out, Elizabeth! They need to stop this. Oh, I think they're just going to go to lane two. Well, that's not going to help their performance still fumbling around and oh that guy just landed on his head oh don't worry richard they're professionals see they're holding on tighter now oh you call that tighter look at that poor fellow uh oh he's gonna go for a ride well i want to know what detergent they're using on their white uniforms i don't see any dirt or blood or anything well, i think maybe they're getting a little smarter here but they've got just one person holding on tight let's see what happens oh no well, this better be the last try. It's the last try, uh, Richard. Hope he makes it all the way down. Yeah, well, now he's looking pretty good. Come on, Chester Cheeto. Hey, is that a leopard or is it a cheetah? Well, that's a cheetah. You know, cheetahs are very fast animals. Well, that's about the slowest soapbox I think I've ever seen. Hey, did you tell them about the extra jump on the runway? Uh, nope. Uh-huh. 
Well, it, hey, it looks like Billy made it. He's trucking along. Well, more like floating along. I feel like I'm watching a raft going down a lazy river. Look, even Grogu doesn't have enough midichlorins in the Force to get him moving faster. Oh, we're not getting into a debate about midichlorins. He's looking a little slow, but look, 44.436, he finished. Congratulations, Harry. You have the slowest time on Chavano Mountain Raceway. Wow, Rust Belt Customs has the coolest stuff. Check this out. Oh, so realistic. Contact Rust Belt Customs on Facebook today. Rust Belt Customs is a proud sponsor of Gravity Throttle Racing. Okay, race fans, halftime is over, and now in lane one, we've got Numbskull, lane two is Arlo, lane three is MCR, and Monster Motorsports is in lane four. This is the third of four races where this group comes together and the light is green. Oh, what a nice start, Arlo and MCR pulling out into the lead. Look at Arlo on the joker lane, coming down MCR, nice drifting on his part. All the cars look to be drifting well. But it, oh no, and MCR is spun around backwards. Here comes Numskull, Numskull, no, and Arlo, I'm sorry, Narlo is in the lead and Numskull is pulled ahead. Oh boy, around the big U, Numskull's got a lead. He spins around, but comes through for first. Arlo is in second. We had a lot of action and we've lost a lot of action. Finally, here they come. Arlo, a little bit behind and here comes Numskull in third and Arlo is in fourth. Congratulations. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go back now to the instant replay package. Check out four cars drifting. Beautiful job by all of them, but take a look at the rear driver of MCR. Cut off, monster, and that spells disaster as one of his cars. One of his drivers is stranded after the Mesa Butte. And then the lead car of MCR we saw flying off the road. And so does monster have a problem after the bridge. That spells disaster for Team Monster Motorsports as both drivers are out of this one. But then check out what happens. As we go down the runway, Arlo is having trouble, and the lead driver of MCR gets caught up with Numskull. That spells disaster for Team MCR as both of his drivers get stuck at the crest of the big U. Numskull has 14 points, Arlo adds 12, but Monster and MCR are left dry. Well, and that's tough for those teams. Everyone is back at the top with Arlo on the inside, Numskull next to him. Now, Monster Motorsports is in lane three and MCR has the outside lane. The last race of this group, ladies and gentlemen, group three of episode two. The green lights have gone and look at that nice start, but it is Monster pulling out in the lead. He has a lead coming on to the drift, Mesa View drift and drifts well. Here comes Arlo down the joker lane. He's looking like he might have the lead as he makes his way down and he has the lead, but he spins and it is Monster that avoids the accident. Numbskull puts on the brakes. Here comes Monster. Lead driver down for first. Arlo in second. Numbskull in third. And Numbskull takes fourth. The rear driver of Monster takes fifth. And MCR has the sixth spot. Well, race fans, as we go back to instant replay, we don't see this too often. But Arlo, the rear driver, gets elevated as he makes his way down the joker lane. And also now, watch on the Mesa Butte. Beautiful drifting. Monster does well. Here comes MCR. Look at that just almost like a ballet. All four drivers make their way around Mesa Butte. That is quite a sight to see, only on GTR, race fans. Now, check out as the drivers make their way onto runway three. The battle ensues with Monster pulling out ahead and Numskull hitting the brakes to avoid an accident. There is quite a scuffle going on around the big U. Here are the score after the second round. MCR only collects three points, but take a look at Numskull with 25. Monster does well this round with 12, and Arlo has 19 to add. The final group is up at the top now with Iron Beard Customs on the inside lane. The A team next to him in lane three. O is the Empire, and G4 Diecast has lane four. Look at that. We've got a surprise from the Canadians. It is Yoda watching over them, and here we go. It's so far looking good. Oh, and G4 takes a wipeout already. But look at the Canadians take the lead around the Joker lane and nicely done by G4 Diecast as the lead driver, oh, has crashed. I spoke too soon. Oh, something's happened. I think the Sith Lord's got one. Oh, there's a spin out now and the Canadians and Ironbeard are looking to make their way down as fast as they can. Here comes the 18 lead driver in first place and spinning around, pirouetting is the second driver. That's very nice. Uh oh. Got slowly coming in is Ironbeard Customs for six points, and that is it. Well, where are the Sith Lords? Let's go back now. Instant replay. Check out the beginning, the start. Things are looking pretty good. You don't know the power of the dark side. Oh, 
My goodness! G4 Diecast just got thrown up against the snow barrier. I wonder if the Sith Lords and Darth Vader had something to do with that. Meanwhile, the Sith Lords just don't know how to drift. Ah, oh, but they love to yield that lightsaber. And there, there's G4! That is a kill. It's just a flesh wound. No, Aaron. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> no, it's a kill, Aaron. Oh, all right, I won't argue with Vader. That, not like last time. Take a look, no, as they come down the runway, and it is James Ironbeard, the front driver, that got spun around, and I think, I think he got another kill. Let's take a look at the scores, and sure enough, they did. Two kills this round. There's the second one, and the A-Team has 15 this time. We're about to wrap up episode two with the A-Team now. On the inside lane, Ironbeard Customs next to him and those beautiful red and blue cars, G4 Diecast, and the Sith Lords are on the outside as the lights are yellow. Here we go with the final race. Nicely done as G4 Diecast scurries out into the lead, and whoa, what an accident. The Canadian lead driver is tipped over, and I don't see the rear driver. Look at that tactic, that battle. Positions by G4 Diecast. And now the rear driver takes the lead. It's as if they're deliberately preparing for the worst. Down the scrambler, G4 is looking great. First place and second place, and take a look. Ironbeard Customs comes whipping in for the next two. Let's recap the race with the final instant replay. Watch the Canadian driver in the rear, bounce back and forth, and that was it, losing momentum. And the lead driver coming into the sharp right-hand turn. A little too fast. Ironbeard Customs, the rear driver, manages to sneak on by. Meanwhile, watch again as the G4 Diecast Racing Team comes in and does a nice job on the drift. But the Sith Lords, boy, they are struggling. One Sith Lord is stuck on Mesa Butte, and the other one is coming around here, but obviously losing a lot of, a lot of traction against these fast drivers. There he comes. Ironbeard Customs and G4 Diecast proved to be just too fast for the Sith Lords. Ironbeard Customs with 13, G4 Diecast with 11, the 18 did get 15, and the Empire had two kills. And race fans, the weather's been fantastic. It's been very competitive racing today. Here is the table of scores after the first round, and look at what has happened now after episode number two. Chase Family Racing extending the lead, DRT3K jumping up into second, and Ironbeard Customs in third. The A-Team is no longer in the basement. G4 Diecast still has the fastest time and the Sith Lords have three kills. Are you tracking?